Floss Tube. It's Annie. And Belle. And we're here for our market preview. Sadly, we don't have Chelsea with us here today. She has a big homeschool day today. <coughs> so we're going to show all of our new market releases. And I'm so excited. It's been so hard not to show all of this stuff up until now. But we've been working very hard to get it all ready. And here we go. Are you ready? Mm -hmm. Number one. The gift tag ornament series. So we have um, set three. So in the fall, we released set one and set two. There's 12 of the gift tag ornaments all together. And so this is three more in set three. But they're but we're releasing them in sets of three. We're releasing them in sets of three. I yes. think people get really confused. It is confusing. Because they're like, like this one is like set four, but there's only three of them. But it's a set. But it's a it's not a set but, of but four, if they it's don't, the fourth yeah, set. I, yeah, see, that's why it's confusing. I, if, know, especially if they don't know that there's, like, <laughs> we've already released two. You know, it's hard to know how to do this, so I'm just doing my best. This is set three. Okay, so we'll show set three, which is these. Let me come around the mountain. Also, here's our merch. Oh, yeah. Our shirts. Yay, all ready for market. We have a lot of merch for market this year, so we do. get ready. And if you were one of the few that saw my reel before mom made me put it down. Because <laughs> she showed Then you know. <laughs> she showed, yeah, now you know everything that's going. <laughs> okay, so that's the reindeer. The snowman. And then I'll show you, like, the back. They're all... Wait. Those are the caroling snowmen. Yeah. No, are you showing the wrong one? No, I am showing the right one. Okay, the reindeer. But how come this one is on green plaid and they're not black? Because they're all different. Oh, I thought they were all no, the same. they're all different. Okay. And the backs are all different. I yeah, didn't realize that. Yeah, the backs are all different. But they're all from the same line of fabric, which don't ask me what it was called <laughs> or who it was because I don't remember. But This one says where the treetops glisten. Mm -hmm. And these ones have like the Mill Hill beads. Yes, which is not included in the chart, but your shops can get those for you, no problem. Okay, and then we have Christmas in the Country set four, not set of four, but the fourth set of three. <laughs> just stop, just stop trying. It's, it's getting more complicated. I know. <laughs> okay, so here, here are these. So we have the Cardinal. And these are all um, stitched on 25 count raw Dublin linen, um, two strands over two. Each one has the Mill Hill bead, which your shop can get for you. Um, they're all about like 40 by 50 stitches. So they're very quick, very quick to stitch. Yeah, they're pretty like, they're pretty small. Well, like medium. Yeah, I mean, I stitched them large, but you could definitely stitch them smaller. Yeah, than this. like on a 40 count, that would be really cute. Yeah, it would be really cute. Um, the thing about it, though, is if you go too small, then the then the buttons are going to be gigantic. So oh. you don't want to go too small. But they all, um, what was I going to say? Well, if them? you do want to do the buttons, you yeah. don't have to do the buttons. I mean, you kind of do, though. Like, this would look goofy if, I mean, I guess you could stitch a heart in there it up close but you kind of do need the button because oh. they're part of the design element yeah i guess so and i didn't like chart them without the buttons so i see what you're saying oh and yeah. like this one she like did the star button instead of like yeah a star on the tree oh, okay so i guess i mean you, you could do. improvise if you want but you know you don't want to go too small you do you i'm saying yeah you do you there's something else that, oh and they all have um finishing instructions for how to make the tag and how to, you know, where to get the grommet and all that kind of thing to make them if you want to do this finish. So I, all the instructions are included in the patterns. All right. All right next. So next we have Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, which is a little Christmas pin pillow. This was stitched on um 32 count relic linen by picture this plus and it's using a dinky dye called terracotta so one just one thread for this and then the way i finished it was i used my collection of mother of pearl vintage and antique buttons and just stitched hand stitched them on all around the sides but you could finish it however you like why is this like backwards 
it always looks like that but when it's when you put the video up it'll be it's, straight okay yeah because this is like messing i know it does mess with your brain and a lot of people i've seen people like actually flip it around and yeah. then they show the video it's and it's backwards yeah oh that's weird okay next we have our, when did you actually do this one though um i actually stitched it a long time ago and it's been sitting in my like it's an oldie it's an oldie that i've revived but All anyway. right, so anyways. <laughs> I don't know why we had to talk about that, but anyway. Um, this is called Channing Street. This is our 100th pattern. So to celebrate that, I wanted to do something special, so I designed... She went above and beyond. Okay, so I just <laughs> a sample. Wait, let me... Hold on. <laughs> um, that is a memorial or a tribute to my husband, who has passed away. And this is... Um, I sort of took the theme of Channing Street, which Isabel came up with the name, because that's the house we lived in for 30 years. We were married for 37 years, but for 30 of the years we lived on Channing Street. This is a not a replica of our house. At all. <laughs> <laughs> I took a lot of Like, house. if this was our house, we would not have moved. <laughs> <laughs> right. This is a four-story mansion that I stitched. That's not what we lived in. This is what mom's dream house yeah. would be. <laughs> Yeah, that's what she stitched. She she stitched what of, she wanted. Yeah, to I took a lot of artistic license with it. But anyway, um, so the border it has a strawberry border, and I did like a satin stitch on the border. Um, it's almost all DMC. There's a couple of over dyed cottons in there, just a few. I think only like two or three. Um. I stitched all a lot of or charted a lot of the animals that we had when the kids were growing up. So one so of the things what, my husband and I had in common was our love for animals. And we had many, many animals over the years. And then I also included. Wait, so let's go over the animals. Go over the animals? Yeah. Okay. So in case like, you know, you see this and then you're like, what is that? <laughs> <laughs> okay. All so right. this is. What can you name though? Well, Okay. Let's just preface it. Pre pre preface. <laughs> Pref words are hard. <laughs> this with these are all animals before I was even alive. That's not true. You were alive for orange. Okay, I was alive for, for some of them, but you know, most of them were before me because there's a big She's, gap. There's a big gap between the my So this is like pre Bell. This is pre Bell. Not really, but some of them are. Okay, anyways, this so is um a turtle. Lucas's turtle, his Speedy. Name was Speedy. Yeah. Um, this is one of our chickens. I don't know which one that one is. Well, I charted Bella, the Bunny, gray. and Sparkle. Okay, so the gray one. Mm hmm Which is, I don't know which one it is. Okay, well, anyways, so chicken, chicken, chicken. Which are all when you were around. We never had, yeah, that's a chicken. We never and had then uh, this before. one is a cat, um, orange. A orange. Yeah. Oh, Let me do it. Sorry. Uh, what is that? <laughs> Let me see. No, wait, hold on. Um, <laughs> is that a... What are you looking at? These. Those are hamsters. Oh, okay. I those are before you. Those are Chelsea's hamsters. Yeah, they, I don't know what they're called. They were called Todd and Daisy. Okay, Todd and Daisy. And then this was our uh, dog, Jippy. Mm-hmm. Um, I was alive for him too, but he like hated all of us. I actually have a scar on my leg from him when I was a he baby. Was, yeah, he was a double dog. Um, this was one of our, um, crabs. And the crabs? The Hermit crabs. crabs. Yeah. Um, Sebastian? This one was Krusty. Okay, yeah, Krusty. Sebastian was one. Um, and then this was my brother Lucas's, um, bearded dragon mm -hmm. named Frank. Good job. I do remember him. And then we did have like frogs and like toads. What were they? Frog and toad. toad. Yeah. <laughs> okay, there you go. We didn't have toads. We had frogs. Oh, okay. And then. Oh, um, and then another chicken. Yeah. So we had a lot of animals. Yeah, we had we had like six chickens at Channing. Um, Actually, we had we had six. We had no, we had more than six. Because we had the white ones, we had the the okay, hard like rocks. at a time, mom. Yeah, at a time. The most we ever had was six at a time. Yeah, I'm not yeah. like counting all. Of them. Okay, I didn't know what you're saying. 
Obviously. Okay, anyway, so on our channel, we had asked people if they wanted a, wanted me to chart any additional animals so that if you stitched it, you could put them in. And so I have also charted a beta fish, a border collie, and a pit bull. And some, um, what are they called? Golden retrievers. And a golden retriever. And a golden retriever. Yeah. Okay, so and those then, are in addition. Um, what else is significant? So... The weeping willows are significant because it is like a memorial. All right. Um, the verse. The verse is, teach me to feel another's woe, to hide the fault I see, that mercy I to others show, that mercy show to me, which is like really significant towards my dad. He was a very um, charitable person, put it to you that way. There's a little write-up about it in the Oh yeah, she pattern. does, she does it, like have a little... A little blurb. Yeah, like an explanation of why I charted what I charted. And then um, this pattern, every one of them will come with a little... Can you show this up close? Oh, this? Yeah. With a label to go on the back. This is a sticker label. So once you frame it, you can stick that on the back. And it That'll just has the chart. title, designer, stitched by, date, fabric, and notes. And then um, at market, we will also have for sale to go along with this a cabochon and enough floss tags to um, put all your flosses on there for this specific chart yeah so this is what the floss tags look like and then it's just completely blank so you can do whatever you want on the back yeah. and you can punch it yourself if you like to punch it or wrap it around whatever you like to do and then Chelsea and I um, have made these cabochons so yeah, that's just something to help us celebrate our 100th pattern. This is this is what we were. This was our secret little project. If you saw my um, Instagram story, <laughs> <laughs> we were working on and still are working I, on. Yeah, we still haven't <laughs> finished. But um, yeah, Chelsea and I were up till like 3:30 in the morning working on these, <laughs> and then that night I like stayed the night, and um, one of the kids like got the flu during the night and was up all night with Chelsea and Bo. So that it was, was really quite the night. It really was. It was yeah. really unfortunate. And then I got up with the baby at seven in the morning. So <laughs> <laughs> family life, you know? Yeah, so that was fun. Did we go through everything I on here that you everything. wanted to? Yes, I think we have everything on Channing Street. What so. are the like was this just like design wise? Those are just stars, yeah. And then the rose. Oh yeah, the rose and the um. Oh yeah, the, the hawk. hawk. Okay, right, so the hawk is this. is on there because my husband just he loved birds of prey. He was just obsessed with them. The hawk right here. And then the rose is because whenever he brought me flowers, he always brought me red roses. red roses. And they were like in my wedding and everything. And that's so. like what we. Those are the flowers that we chose for like his funeral. Yeah. And um, I for love sure. we love red roses around here. <laughs> I really want to get a tattoo of a red rose, but mom won't let me. You, we should get matching. No, that's <laughs> not happening. I'm not a tattoo person. I you cannot. Are, that's fine. And that would be I'm not, so funny. I don't care for them. That would be It's just so my personal funny. preference. I don't know why we had to bring that up. Like maybe like costume. on your neck or something. Oh my gosh. How about on my like, forehead? Yeah. Okay. Next. We this have. is one of my favorite. I I really think this is like aside from Channing Street, but I think this is my favorite. Really? Yeah, because oh. I just love like the color. Of it. I know the colors. All right, so this is the next one. Blue work pairs, and this is to go a series to go along with the red work pairs. I will have more pairs coming down the pike. Um, somebody asked me to do pink ones, so I'm going <gasps> to definitely do that. Wouldn't that be pretty? Why have we not even thought of that? that I don't is know. Such, and if you have any other such. ideas for monochromatic pairs in the future, let me know. Yeah. Because I'm oh my gosh, I love to do that. Whatever. Mom, I know you can a pick idea? such a pretty pink too. I, <gasps> I want to. I'm gonna do it. I will do the pink one. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna stitch the models. Is that what you're saying? Yeah, I could. I love these though. So these ones. Um, so let's show them. Yeah, let's not leave you hanging here. And they're nice and heavy. So what are the what is this stitched on, Mom? These are stitched on. Here, try to hold all of them. Yeah, if you can. There you go. 
I've got, it's like a bushel of pairs. <laughs> Um, these are stitched on 35 count light khaki linen from Weeks Dye Works and they're one strand over two with a dinky dye silk and the silk I used is called Persian Jade. And I just so want to give pretty. a little plug to my friend Michelle. She finished these for me in record time and they are beautifully finished. Yeah, they are. She did these such little... a wonderful job. What is this called? Uh, herringbone? Yeah, she did oh, the herringbone. Guys, are you so seams. impressed with me? She made, there is a template in the pattern for how to finish them. They're really an easy finish. Mm -hmm. it, they're not hard. Like you stuff them from the bottom and then you just have to fill in that, that put a little patch over that. That hole. Yeah, because the hole will not close. It, what it leaves do you, kind of a big hole. But What do you stuff it with? I mean, these feel like she stuffed them with sawdust. Cause they're so hard they are so hard yeah, but, but they're could, but i when i did way. mine i think i used some sawdust and some fiber fill when okay. i did the red ones yeah but i mean know, it's just whatever. your you preference can stuff them with polyfill you can use anything you want it's whatever you like but and i love how each one is like a different fabric mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you can have a lot of fun with the fabrics mm -hmm. too they're lovely this is that alphabet one this one was the birds. I will put Michelle's, she's a finisher. She does beautiful work. I will put her information down below. And then at the end of the video, I'll give you a picture of her business card as well. This is the flower. <clears throat> but she just did a great job. I think they're wonderful. Oh, I love this fabric. I know. So, so pretty. pretty. Did you pick the she fabric? She picked the really? She gave me some choices and she had great choices. Yeah. And I love everything she picked. So. Yeah. You did a great job. So I think that's everything about them. this one. Michelle Rogers, it's called <laughs> My Finishing Touch. And I do, the information for her is on the back of this chart as well. And um, I also want to thank Denise Thornton for stitching the models in record time as well. <laughs> Yeah, you guys really came through yeah, for us. Yeah, thank you so much. <laughs> um, yeah, I think this this is a really fun series. The The stitch counts for these are around 50 by 65, so they're not, you know, a big time. They're, yeah, they're scale, pretty small. They're pretty small. You can and you them can do them, um, the red work pairs that we will be bringing to market, mm -hmm. um, we are borrowing from our friend Lisa Kretz, and she did hers on 40 count. I know, and they're and so, so cute. And so they're really cute. So, so we're gonna I'll bring have those mine, and then hers, and then these, and we, you can see them for the shop owners. You'll be able to see them on different yeah, sizes and stuff. Definitely. But yeah, super fun. I love this series. I'm having a lot of fun. Yeah, with they're that. so cute, and they're doing really well. Yeah. People love them. Yeah, people seem I to love like this. Them. I love this color blue. I know. I know I love the blue too. I can't wait to get them all done because I'm going to line them up on my mantle. Oh yeah, because really you've cute. already got the little pairs right there. Yeah, those are the ones from um, Samplers and Santas, which is a, she has free patterns on her blog. That's what those wow, are. Wow, those are free? Yeah. That's and she has really a cool. bunch of them. There's like five or six different ones. Are they all pairs or just They're patterns? all pairs. They're all pairs oh. and they're really cute. Yeah, they they're are pretty. really cute. Yeah. Wow. Wow. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I might awesome. have to get into pairs. You know, I have, I did try. You can finish. I know your, the pair. It's almost <laughs> done, guys. She has like three stitches left. It was for Fourth of July. Yeah, you should definitely do that. It's all janked up though. Why? Oh, so you I don't can know. fudge it. I guess. All right. Next is. Let's go sledding. <laughs> so this is twelve sled ornaments all in one pattern. So you get twelve. Designs and one. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. That was hard. That was that was pretty good. Okay. Okay, I'll read about it and you can just start showing okay. them one by one. All right. Okay, the models are stitched on 14 count antique brown perforated paper that you get from Mill Hill. Your shops can get it for you. And they're mounted on the four inch craft sled, which those are available all over too. The shops can get those for you as well. The stitch count for every single one is 17 wide by 31 high. So, I mean, that is They're all the nothing. same. You could do one a night. Oh, seriously. yeah. You could do a couple a night. Okay, maybe not a couple. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it depends on how... Determined. <laughs> I mean, and how, like, stitch heavy they are. I mean, they are, like, a little yeah. full coverage piece in a sense. True. You know, but it's only 17 by 31. You guys, you want to know a fun fact about these? Um... Not, I didn't stitch all of these, but I did stitch some of them when mom was doing the um, ornament, ornament club with these. And this is like when I started 
stitching or how I learned to stitch yeah. really. Yeah. And you stitched a lot of them. I did stitch a lot yeah. of them. Yeah. Yeah. We um, both stitched them, but you did a lot. Of them. I did a lot of them and yeah. And it was really nice because it's perforated paper. So it was really easy to just like to start on perforated paper when you're a beginner. Yeah, that's true. And yeah. like, so I was, dot to dot exactly. And, yeah, and so I, hole hole. yeah. So I was able to just like learn how to like actually cross stitch without mm -hmm. having to worry about like, you know, the linen or anything like yeah. that. And then from then on, you um, do it. Yeah, yeah, I started, well, I didn't start stitching after that, but. Not too long after though. That was like a year or two. Yeah after but yeah this is how i started stitching was because of these ornaments you did a really good job on them too i think i did this one they're really fun they're really like if you have a lot of grandchildren or you just yeah. want to, if you need a quick christmas ornament yep. or something they are great or like for quick, that. quick like christmas gift yeah they're great for that because yes. they're so quick they're really they're easy really to finish too because you really just cut here hold one of them up close so you really cut one um, hole out from the finished edge. That's all you do is cut all the way around Mom, and you stick not. your, like, <laughs> there's that two-sided stitcher's tape that you can get from Yarn Tree. You put that on the back and then you stick it on the sled and you're done. That's Super it. Super easy. And I saw on so-and-so's, Nancy made a bunch of, not mine, but other ones, sled ornaments. And she had such a great idea. She bought the alphabet beads that you can get where each bead has a letter on it. And yes, she, then you've told me this, this before so and I, I still don't okay, understand. Okay, listen. She bought the alphabet beads and then she spelled out the name of all her grandchildren and then like hung it on the side there. Oh, okay. It was so cute. Like you could spell out their name and then put like a cute charm yeah. on the bottom. And I love you could, that. You could embellish this with like, like a Like put like a ribbon or, on yeah. it. It was so cute. I want to do that. That's Good idea, Nancy. Yeah. I love that. Oh, that would be so cute. Like, even to just, like, have, like, a little mini tree to put all of these on. Yeah. It would be so cute. And then one more thing I wanted to say. They all have a Mill Hill bead. They're all, you. they use a black bead. Not every one of them, but a lot of them. Yeah, what see? The little Mill Hill beads. Oh. But if you don't want to buy the Mill Hill beads, you could just use the black DMC. They're Actually, all... I think... They are all stitched in. Sorry. <laughs> you are something. They're all stitched in DMC too. So I'm struggling. Super easy, not a lot of cost, and you know. Super cute. Super cute. Yeah. All right, so next. There you go. All right, next. So and that's all the Christmas we have. Yeah, we do have a lot of Christmas this year, but I'm just kind of getting caught up with getting some of these clubs. All right, so this out. is the next one that we're super excited to be releasing. Um, this is like, I have anything to do with this, but you know, no, you I'm gonna to try to take it. credit. <laughs> <laughs> we're excited about this one. This is called um, the Bloomin' Bunnies Trio. Thank you. <laughs> These are stitched on 40 count Regency linen by Picture This Plus. <clears throat> Thank you to Lisa oh, Bretz for stitching those. See the back of these. Oh, you didn't? No. Yeah, the backs are cute. Yeah, thank you, Lisa. She did such an amazing job. She this did. is on 40 count, which... I just said that. Oh, did you? <laughs> One over two. And we used NPI <laughs> silk. It. There is a DMC conversion. I always do DMC <clears throat> conversions, so if you're wondering. Look at how cute. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? And they're just finished with the popcorn so one, trim yeah. from um, Lady oh, Dot Creates. And um, just, you know, a pretty fabric on the back. <clears throat> they're just little pillows. These would be great for like a three-tiered tray or a dough bowl or anything like that. Bloom. <laughs> the pink popcorn trim. Caramel. No barking. And this one. And all three come in the pattern. Look at that little cute design. You can show the backs. Yeah. The sun has the pink also. Love the back. <clears throat> We're so excited for how these came yeah, out. Yeah, these ones came They're out so, so cute. So cute. Love, love, love. <laughs> <laughs> okay. 
So that is, <coughs> oh, and they're all like the stitch counts are around, I think the biggest one is this one, which is 80 by 78. No, no, this one is longer. It's 112 by 31, but they're all but small, they're small and they'll go fast. Yeah. Like they'll definitely fit in like a dough bowl mm -hmm. um, or like a, like a tear tray or tier anywhere tray. you want to tuck them for, you know, Easter, Easter or spring. spring. Yeah, like they're are... not like, it's not like um, exclusively Easter no. or anything like that. Right. It's like very much just like spring mm -hmm. or even like February. Yeah. Because... I don't know. I think of February as like the beginning of spring. I know. It feels like it too. Especially It's probably end, because like, today it's like 50 degrees. I know. It's so warm. <laughs> so it's like kind of <laughs> messing with us. But okay. yeah. So cute. So those are our releases for market. If you're interested in anything that you've seen here, just contact your shop and have them. They can place a pre-order or they can just pick it up when they get to market, come into our booth. We're in booth number 430. 430? I literally have no idea. I can't now. remember now what booth We'll put it right here. <laughs> what number? Yeah, we'll put it in. 430 or 432 or 434, something like that. That that means nothing. We're like two doors down from the housewives. <laughs> Thanks, we are. Mom. <laughs> yeah, so you'll find us. Anyway, we're so excited for market. We've been working really hard to get everything together, and we're we still have so much to do. I don't know, like what? Why yeah. you? Think I that? mean, because the bulk of it is done, but we still have a lot of. It is. We still have a lot of folding, not folding, but stuffing of patterns. But yeah, we're we're doing pretty good we're getting so. there we still have a couple more weeks so yeah but yeah which we need every day <laughs> yeah but we are we're doing good we are and we're excited we're gonna there's gonna be four of us this year so it'll be me and mom uh, my brother lucas who came last year so if you guys were there last year you would have met him he does the money um <laughs> no, no, hero no. And then Chelsea is coming this year. Yay, so we're so excited. Yeah, she's beyond um, excited. And we are just going to party it up in Nashville this year. <laughs> yeah. We are. Well, I'll be dead tired. So we'll see how much partying we can do. Hopefully we can do a little antiquing. That's yeah, I'm that's what our goal is this year. Because yeah. we have not done any. Mm -hmm. Every, any time that we've gone. I know. So that's kind of our goal <laughs> not really but we're excited to just like meet everyone and especially this year I think is going to be like really exciting because Chelsea and I since last market have really gotten into stitching true so last yeah. year when we came back from market is when Chelsea and I started stitching and then um we started floss tube together mm -hmm. and then you know I know we're coming up on our floss anniversary our first year is that we, what it's called yeah sounds weird our first year floss anniversary <laughs> yeah let's not make that a thing yeah, um we are gonna make it a thing we'll do something special hey. for it maybe we'll have a good like giveaway giveaway yeah hopefully we'll be doing an actual floss tube within the next week or so and we do have some we have to give away and stuff like chelsea that, and so. i have a lot to share with you guys like yeah. since the last floss tube i know chelsea has a big finish yeah, and I have started, like, um, stitching more. Mm -hmm. uh, my goodness. So, um, yeah, so I have started some things. I have worked on some oldies. So yeah. I'm excited to share that with you guys. And then we also have, like, we've been um, doing, going to, like, some stitch days, yeah. which is exciting. We have yeah. one coming up this week. So, um, yeah, we've been, like, just living our lives. Uh, <laughs> but... Because it's been so busy, we have a hard time filming floss tube lately. It yeah. won't always be like that. No, but, it'll um, get better after market. So, you know, if you guys miss us, <laughs> please go follow us on Instagram. Because that's Chelsea and I especially um, do a lot of posting on there. And like yeah. what we're working on and what's going on in our lives and everything on there. So we'll put that down below as well as mom's. Um, <clears throat> yeah i think that's it right i think so yeah okay so we'll see you soon and tomorrow's valentine's day so happy valentine's day yeah happy valentine's day hope you have a good time we'll be we working. will not <laughs> <laughs>
Mom and I are, are the single ladies. Yes, we are. All the, the same. single ladies. <laughs> All the single ladies. Um, but we are going to Amy's like improv showcase. showcase. Yeah, so our little granddaughter is going to be in a little show tomorrow. She so. does improv, yes. so that'll be really. She's nine. That'll be really fun. <laughs> yeah, she loves it. Um, yeah, yeah fun. we are going to do that, so that'll be really fun. Um, but yeah, and that's it. I think that's it. Okay, That's thank you so much for, for watching and thank you for all your wonderful comments. This community is just amazing. I can't say Especially it on Channing Street. Oh, I like know. mom has been getting like such amazing I know. People have been so kind. Like comments and just mm -hmm. um Yeah, it's been really sweet. Really sweet. And we wanted it to be it something special for our one hundredth and yeah. yeah. It means a lot to our family. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you so much and we'll see you soon. Bye. Bye.